That's day one of the travel diary. Good morning, everyone. Well, today is day one of the journey to Birdsville for the Big Red Bash. And currently, I'm stopped just west of Lisco. So I'm meeting up with my mate Rob Smith, the duck, and another one of his mates. So we're gonna convoy together, because it's always a good idea to convoy, <laughs> if you can. And we're gonna take four days. So estimated arrival at Batuta Pub for me will be uh, Saturday afternoon. I'll be meeting Vaughan, the CEO of MDC, and we'll be traveling in to Birdsville first thing in the morning. My weapon of choice this trip is the X-T10E. Because I'm on my own, I just needed something small. And because of water restrictions and whatnot, I don't need an ensuite. There's plenty of facilities uh, on the way because we'll be staying at pubs with camping on site. Along the road uh, at Birdsville, they're set up with showers and all the rest of it. And at the bash, you can't drop any water on the ground anyway, so it'll be wet wipes. <laughs> Let me say, uh, the 10E uh, 15 year anniversary edition is a great little thing. It's got the reverse camera on it. Life Pro Plus Lithium, brilliant. What I've deliberately disconnected charging from the car, I can monitor it all the time so I know what my battery state is because I've pre-cooled, uh, pre-frozen everything in my fridge, got it well under temperature before putting it in the trailer. and. I really want to see how the lithium package with the projector stuff performs on this trip. Solar panels will certainly keep up for the entirety of the trip and that'll include running an electric blanket at night and diesel heater for, a, for an hour or three. But let me tell you about this little thing. Oh, I've got it pretty loaded up. I filled the water tank um, for two reasons. A, I wanted to lower the centre of gravity because uh, we're not mucking around getting out there. Um, Plus I also have 40 litres of diesel up front with a full gas bottle and a full diesel uh, tank for the diesel heater. Uh, a very, very full uh, 95 litre fridge and uh, plus personal items. So we put a bit of weight on it. I haven't weighed it, haven't stuck it over the weigh bridge, but I have made sure I've got plenty of ball weight. And here it is. It's a little beauty. Got a dinette in it. Nice east-west bed, cupboard space, plenty of storage actually, I have miles of storage. Got my 95 litre Dometic in there, all ready to go. Uh, loaded up, I've got tools and other extra bits and pieces as well. And I'm tying with the trusty MDC Navara. And, <laughs> being a good boy, we have towing mirrors. Nothing flash, they're not built in, they're just purely bolt on, but they do a great job. Give me great view behind, left and right, so I can see everything that's going on. So today's plan is to head out to uh, Byrock Pub and then spend the night at Byrock. Um, big, uh, big fire inside, food, everything there. So be a nice, easy night. So yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing everyone out there. It's been a couple of years due to COVID lockdowns and the bash not going ahead in uh, 2020. And during the 2021, I was stuck in New South Wales. They wouldn't let me into Queensland. Uh, good thing or bad thing, I don't know. You decide. But that's the rig, all ready to go. And I must say, it has towed so sweet here. Uh, this stop here, while waiting for the duck, was my second check of the wheel nuts because this van is straight off the production line. It's nothing, nothing else done to it. I ran a, a torque wrench over everything, suspension bolts, and this is my second check of the wheel nuts. Uh, did get a, a, about ooh, half a turn on them at the top of the mountain just above Lapston, uh, but this time, nothing. They just clicked as soon as I put pressure on the torque wrench. So anyway, that's day one of the travel diary. You know, I'll keep you posted and I'll probably check in if we see anything special along the road, but certainly I'll give you a bit of a tour around the uh, Byrock pub this evening.